This is the Radio Oddity GA5WB, a dual band handheld radio which can be completely controlled and programmed via a free mobile application. Now, supporting a frequency range of between 136 to 174 MHz and then 400 to 520 MHz, the GA5WB provides clear access to the 2 meter and 70 centimeter ham radio bands. FM broadcast reception is also available along with AM airband receiving. The 5WB comes with a 2600 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, which can be recharged using the supplied USB-C cable and a regular wall charger of your choice. A dual band antenna, along with a removable belt clip, is also included in the box. Now on board is a GPS receiver, which can be used for position reporting when digital mode is activated. APRS analog is built in with the option to automatically send your location to the APRS network, keeping others informed of your location. The GA5WB is of sturdy construction with a front facing speaker and microphone. Now the left side of the radio hosts the PTT button along with two programmable function buttons. On the rear at the base of the battery, we find a USB-C port which is used for recharging the battery. A charging indicator is also available to show the current charging state. On the top of the radio, we find the on and off control, which also acts as the volume control. We also have a status LED to indicate receiving and transmitting, and we also find the antenna connection. Now the menu system is clear and concise with that black background, allowing you to configure the 5WB how you need to. Within the menu system, you can enable dual watch, choose one of the three different power levels, enable the GPS and configure the APRS feature, along with a whole host of other radio options. Built-in Bluetooth provides connection to a speaker microphone or Bluetooth headset along with the companion mobile application, which is available on the iOS and Android app stores. Now you must enable pairing mode before the mobile application will be able to connect. But once paired, you can control the radio from the application, including changing memories, programming memories, and altering the radio's configuration. Now, as we program a memory channel using the app, we can see that any changes are automatically sent to the radio once pressing save. Now, this is performed almost instantly without any waiting times for configurations to download to the radio. To enable the APRS beacon transmitting directly from the radio, you will need to set your call sign, choose a path and enter a passcode. Now the APRS passcode is available online on many APRS passcode generation websites for free. Now there is a link within the application if you need to get one. Once you have your call sign set, you need to enable digital mode, enable the share location option to send your location, and you also have to change the format to APRS from BSS, which is the manufacturer's own digital protocol. You can also specify a dedicated APRS channel so that APRS transmissions only transmit on a specified channel. If you'd like to know more or to purchase the Radio Oddity GA5WB handheld transceiver, then please visit the Radio Oddity website.